this video we're going to explore something that I stumbled across this week quite by accident. I don't entirely know how it fits in to my uh, e-learning workflow, but I thought I would share it with you guys anyway. You might be able to find a, a very effective use for it, uh, but the basics of it is that <clears throat> I think what you would find is that if you're struggling with the color scheme of a course that you were developing let's say you are an employee of a company and of course you want to make sure your e-learning matches up with the branding that the company has or you've been hired by a company and you know you want to maybe pull off their website uh, the key colors that you're going to need so this is a, gr a really neat little website it's it's on Adobe's site it's called uh, color.adobe.com I'll put a link in the description for everyone but uh, essentially they call it Adobe Color CC. It used to be called Adobe Color, spelled with a K-U-L-E-R, which doesn't make a lot of sense because I want to say cooler. But uh, they renamed it to Adobe Color CC, so it's part of the Creative Cloud suite of services. The idea here is that you have a color wheel on the screen and you can create color schemes that are based on different uh, different types of color rules. So if you choose uh, analogous, uh, you could choose um, you know something like this and pick a color scheme that's appropriate. Uh, but of course it will always kind of push you into that certain color rule. Uh, monochromatic, everything on the same scale as one another. Uh, triad, which sort of goes a third across the color wheel and no matter what you select it will automatically choose colors appropriate to one another within that color rule complementary compound different shades of the same color of course and of course custom where you can set these however you wish but I'm not going to use it in this manner today today I've come up with something a little bit different let's say you've been asked by a company to come up with some e-learning. They don't have a template to start from, but you want to, of course, make sure it's complementary to their brand image. Well, you could take something like uh, a company logo, or you could take a screen capture of someone's website to capture the different colors. In this case here, for this example, I'm going to just uh, right-click on the icon from Adobe.com's website and use their Adobe eLearning Suite icon as an example. There's lots of different colors in here and obviously at some point those were chosen by a designer so let's assume that it matches sort of the eLearning uh, branding that uh, that they've come up with. So I'm going to save this image. I'm just going to save it to my desktop and uh, what I can do now is go back to Adobe Color CC and you'll see this little camera icon in the upper right hand area of the uh, workspace. So I'm just going to click on that guy right there and click on the image that I downloaded a moment ago and it's going to load that image and select all various different colors that you could choose. You can edit this like let's say I don't like this split pea soup color here I could actually point that towards something else on the image. But whether you agree with this color scheme or not, these are the colors that are found in the eLearning Suite logo. So I can save that um, to my list of work. And of course, there are no comments, so we'll just say eLearning Suite logo colors. And we'll add that comment in. And the great part about this now, and the part that's useful, I think for Adobe Captivate users is that you can download this as an ASE format file and an ASE format file is Adobe Swatch file. So what that is is something that Photoshop could load in and it would give you access to all of these colors at the touch of a button. So let's download this. We'll throw it on our desktop here. I've already saved it once before, so I'll just save over top of that. And I'll switch over to Adobe Captivate. And let's say, we'll just pick an object, we'll put it on the screen here, 
and of course that will give us access to the properties window where we can select the color and we'll go to the swatches section and there's you know something here by default right now based on this uh, theme that I'm using but we're gonna open the swatch manager and that's done from the little um, menu button that's located in the upper right hand corner of this screen here and then you'll see of course swatch manager so I could append it or I could load it in this case I'm gonna load it and I'm gonna go to the desktop find that e-learning suite ASE file and open that up it's warning me that the existing colors will be uh, replaced by the swatches from uh, from this file that's okay so there we go. There's all three of the colors that make up that logo, or sorry, all five of the colors that make up those images, or that image in this particular case from the, the logo. So you can access that from, from here at any time and make this the green that's used in that particular icon. Or we could choose the turquoise type color I guess I don't know what that is I'm not very good with color names and then we'll go with the blue so now we have very easy access within Adobe Captivate to all of those colors that came right out of that that logo that's pretty much wanted wanted to share it just again makes that design process a little bit easier a little bit faster and of course now you don't have to constantly be going back to the drawing board every time you need a new color for something in your e-learning.